Friends of the stars, welcome back to the children of Atlantis and Grand Admiral. This time we will go and upgrade our fleets, finally. Um, hey, no, not the fleet manager, the ship designer. There we go. It's high time that we did this because we have gained a lot. Quantum missiles are probably the choice to go for now. And instead of the auto cannon, we could use the Ripper auto cannon. And instead of small shields, we'll go for small advanced shields. And instead of the plasteel armor, we could go for the durasteel armor. And we have the zero point reactor, all right. That we have that we have that, and we have the sapient combat computer. Swarm tactics. Now that's the question: Should it use swarm tactics? We'll change, charge straight at enemies and try to deal as much damage as possible from point blank range. We could do that. Hmm. But what range do they have? Red range eighty, range one hundred. Swarm tactics maybe doesn't make sense. Uh, advanced, yeah, we could go. So we have the the question is swarm or picket. Picket is higher tracking and the same fire rate, but less evasion. So it's more offensive to go picket. The sapient combat computer. We charge straight at enemies and try to deal as much damage as possible from point blank range. Yeah. So the Ripper auto cannon. Hmm. Do we have something with a higher range? Range 50 would be there. Range 40. We could replace that with a, an advanced railgun. Ultimately, making this better for a swarm. And I think we should do that. Then we have the picket ones, and we'll go for the picket. Okay, yes. They will intercept to close range and try to intercept the enemy. First we want better advanced shields, then we want yeah, everything here at max, that's clear. Small plasma thrower can be extended to... Yeah, we can add in a disruptor. Instead of the small railgun, let's see, disruptor has 30. The flak cannon is there, also range 30, and small plasma thrower can be replaced by the plasma accelerator here. Meaning we've got a better picket class covet. There we go. Then we have destroyers, the picket here. Advancing to close range, attempt to intercept the enemy. can afford this and we'll replace this thing and 30 yes we go for the ripper auto cannon flak cannons are still the same so this is our new picketeer and then we can go for the quick gunner artillery so we'll stay at long range and fire its long range weapons at the target long range is 80. do we have something for that artillery bow yeah we would have that large and medium that's much better for the quick runner if we're going for artillery here quick gunner i mean 
still have the cloud lightning going, but mm, it's not that good anymore. Let's see if we can go for a combination of something. Like the advanced railgun and the plasma accelerator would fit each other. Like this does armor and hull damage, and this does more shield damage. So ultimately we have a range of 80 here, and we have a range of 75 here, but 100 here and 60 here. That makes sense. So advanced railgun in the gunship stern and the plasma accelerator and the artillery bow. What do we want here? Far away, which means shield capacitors could be good. Auxiliary fire control could also be good. Ultimately, I think we should go more offensive and add more shields in otherwise too, so... Hmm. Yeah, let's go more offensive. The quick gunner can stay the same. Ah, so, okay, we have the artillery here now. And this is ultimately called artillery. We'll rework that. Line will hold advance to medium range and hold formation. So this is the line ship now. And the quick gunner can be called artillery and the artillery can be deleted. Let's delete the artillery design, come on. Quick gunner will rename as artillery. Then we need a ship of the line too. New design for destroyer. There we go. Fire rate chance to hit increased. Hold advance to 50 range and hold formation. Good stuff. So, medium range would be good now. Gunship bow. And maybe gunship stern. So what at this could have this range? Range of 50. The small advanced railgun is there for us. Delivering more shield damage and then we have at medium range the plasma accelerator delivering more armor damage. So that's a pretty good idea. And uh, ultimately that would make sense to have a shield capacitor. Or a fire control as well, I'm not sure. So many shields. Ship of the line. So we have that here. And then let's go for the cruiser, the cruiser gunner. What do we have? We could have artillery, we could have line, we could have picket. What would that be? That is definitely artillery. So we can call the artillery gunner, that's no problem. Upgrade the shields. Give it a little bit of armor as well. We can go for these here. And the advanced railguns here. Range 100, range 60. Does that make sense? Range 80, range 75. That makes more sense, right? So. That is a good combination now. That's the gunner. The 
Cruiser Gunner. Oh, it has a missile bow available. That's definitely interesting. That's very high range, so swarm of missiles would be good, space torpedoes would be good, quantum missiles would be good. I'm not sure what. I mean, our quantum missiles are at least advanced. So that's in the end, it's high range, but we have the other ones here as well. So they destroy shields or they, they penetrate shields and cause more hull damage. Increase armor and hull damage, range 40. Range 50 more shield damage, like that mix is still good. Have that at medium, range 60. Then the rail guns. Auto cannon isn't that good. How about the laser? La laser also not that good. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for this setup ultimately. That's the line. Dura steel armor to have it in. So, missile class cruiser, missile C class. Then we would have a picket cruiser. How could we do that? Picket cruiser. We need a broadside bow. A hangar call, probably. And a gunship stern. With picket tactics, we might advance. We have the afterburners. And we'll go for. Definitely flak cannons. I love flak cannons. What do we have here? Improved strike craft. The best we can have. We'll advance to range 30. Range 30. We have small disruptors there. It's 100% shield penetration. That's ultimately a lot better, right? The small advanced railgun. Has 50 even. There's more shield damage. And we'll combine it with a plasma accelerator as well. Going for that. And going for that. Then we'll have some shields. Some Durasteel armor. Hmm. Pick at sea. Can we now go for battleships? Indeed, we have battleships available to us. Let's see. What computers do we have? We have line and artillery. Nothing else though.
Yeah, but that's okay. Line and artillery. We want a ship of the line here. The hangar bow. Carrier core. The broadside stern. Want a lot of flag cannons. Maybe we can add in the barrier point defense too. Let's see. Yeah, just a little mix in. The strike craft. Range 50. Have that going. One medium disruptor. Just for the hell of it and two plasma accelerators. And what would the picket need? Afterburners are pretty good. For the picket setup, and then I can have so many shields, it's crazy. But we also need the armor. Hmm. Picket B. So we have a picket battleship, and then. We go for another battleship. Uh, the artillery battleship. Now something that ultimately makes a lot of sense. Just large weapons. Range 80. Plasma accelerators. Combined with the railguns. Some shields. Fire control and Dura steel armor. The artillery B class battleship is ready looking great. Now we only need to upgrade or complete the fleet. And in the next episode, I realize this is lengthy, but we'll go and upgrade our defense platforms. And we can do something right now. We can delete the lightning because that's outdated. So thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. This is Immanuel Khan signing out. Have a great time. Until next time.